from the forewarned storm center meteorologist thomas Geboy. well after another freezing morning we warmed up rather nicely under mostly sunny skies so that I was able to get the layers off earlier this afternoon earlier this morning looking out inside of harper nice and sunny conditions persisting and we'll have that tomorrow however we will start to see changes as we get into the evening on thursday and as we take a look at the southeast and the gulf of mexico notice more clouds moving in from the southwest going to start watching a system just off the coast of texas that is going to be moving our way by the time we get to friday and that's what's going to be bringing us rain chances. But as where we stand right now, sitting into the upper 50s for the most part in the wiregrass in northwest Florida, Blakely sitting at 61 degrees. These dew points up slightly from where we were yesterday in the upper 20s, still with the northerly wind. But as we go throughout the rest of this evening into tomorrow, we'll see those winds switch out of the south, which will help in turn warm us up as we head throughout tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. As we noticed going through temperatures, not going to be as quick to fall off tonight. By 10 o'clock tonight, temperatures going to be expected into the mid 40s. So we're going to still need to grab that extra layer tonight, but we shouldn't reach the freezing mark. Notice in the top of the show didn't post a freeze warning, so that is good news. A few areas will get around 35 degrees, so we should see just a couple of areas of patchy frost early tomorrow morning. Just give yourself that little extra time. Also another good night to bring in the pets. If you're cold, they're cold as well, but as we go into tomorrow afternoon, warming up into the low and mid 60s, going to go with a high of 64 degrees in Dothan. So we go throughout the day tomorrow should feel pretty nice. High temperatures a little bit above average and then once we get in the Friday morning, we'll really start to increase our cloud coverage and rain chances will be going up as well. Overnight lows expected into the mid 40s and that's how we're going to stand heading into the weekend and notice those temperatures on Friday afternoon kind of taking a swath out that's picking up those rain showers. So as we go through the future cast throughout the rest of this evening should just remain partly cloudy. Shouldn't have to worry about any rain tomorrow morning. Nice and dry on your commute. Nice and sunny as well. But as we go throughout the day tomorrow, we will start to see the cloud coverage increase. By later on tomorrow evening, we'll see mostly cloudy conditions and then rain chances will really be going up from there. So around 10 o'clock tomorrow evening into Friday morning, that's when we'll really start to see those rain chances go up. See that system just off the coast of Louisiana will be making its way towards us. So Friday morning into Friday afternoon is going to be the best chance to rain. So anywhere from around 6 o'clock in the morning to around 5 p.m. at night is going to be the best chance of seeing rain. We'll have more details on that as more model runs begin to come in. However, if you are headed to the beach tomorrow, we'll start off with east winds tomorrow, switching out of the southeast at 15 to 20 knots. So so not the best day to be on the boat. Water temperature, though, sitting nicely at 58 degrees. As for tonight, though, 34 degrees, partly cloudy conditions. Patchy frost will be possible in some of the low-lying areas, so give yourself that little extra time tomorrow morning to scrape up the car if need be. Tomorrow, though, we'll warm up to around 63, 64 degrees, so everyone will be getting into the 60s for the most part tomorrow. Shouldn't have to worry about the cloud coverage keeping down the conditions and also on the panhandle temperatures. Nice and warm, but the chance of showers for them will be a little bit higher, so that's why we're going to go with a 60% Split between Thursday and Friday. There might be a secondary system that makes its way in on Sunday morning. Stay tuned for that. We still need a little bit more time to get the details on that. But once we start next week, it is going to be cold. Mm. 27 degrees Tuesday morning with highs only in the 40s. And I am already not a cold fan. So. No, and it's already cold in here and it's just going to get yes. colder. It's a struggle, creature. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Thank you. You're welcome. Tonight, one point.